It's your girl Nikki, the African Barbie, and we're back for another Bad Mouth Wednesday. I'm quite excited about this one because I read all of you trolls commenting under the last Bad Mouth Wednesday, and apparently I'm faking my accent. I'm so sorry that I was born and raised in the States for 23 years, and I just moved back like a year and a half ago. Yes, I'm revealing my age, and I am faking my American accent. I am so sorry that I am. First off, shut up. You said um, managers are hiring young girls who have accents like us. Where's your accent from? I'm just wondering. Where'd you go to school? Where'd you get it from? Did you go where? You guys, like seriously, I'm gonna calm down. Eh? Nobody here was trying to put up a fake accent. Nobody here even has the time to think about putting up fake accents. Like, there's so many people in the game TV, radio, entertainment business in Nigeria that have been soaked in the whole fake accent drama. You know, that's how they make, <laughs> that's how they make a living. If the accents you're putting up puts food on your table, how about you go ahead and do it? But for the people who are putting up comments on our social media, this is what I have to say to you. I'd rather you hone your skills to such a point where, you know, you're so good at doing the accents that nobody can come at you for it. And you'll be proud to tell somebody, look, it's a fake accent, but I do it damn well. You want to know where mine's from? From the age of five, I was in the American International School. At the age of eight, I left there and went to England, to Northbourne Park School in England. And that is near Deal in Kent. You can go check it up if you need to. Then I came back to this country. I went to the American International School. After that, I went to Atlantic Hall. After that, I lived in England for eight years. Then I came back here. What you saying? I was almost you know, drawn into that uh, in the earlier stages of my career. But she had sent in, you know, told me that, do, 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 do. Quit it. Like, I didn't get you up here because of your accent, no. Because of who you are, you're talented, you have the right energy, you're a fantastic person. That's why I want to work with you, not because of your accent. And then, guys, don't even think about my colleagues. It makes no sense to me. Why? What purpose do I have to fake an American accent? And people are like, oh, a lot of people in the industry, you have to have a British accent or this accent or that accent. Yo, to me, you gotta have talent. And there's a lot of people in the industry right now, they be faking an accent, and we know! We, how are you gonna tell me you're from Atlanta and you don't even know Atlanta's in Georgia? We know, son, we know, like fam. I have an accent, is it bothering you? And is it bothering anybody out there? The most important thing to you should be the information that's coming out of my mouth, not what it sounds like, okay? So take that chip off your shoulder, put it down, walk away. The basic for anybody is, you know, just speak good English. If you can't do an accent, just speak good English and don't feel bad if somebody speaks an accent and you cannot because the truth about the matter is, it's what's up here, you know, it's a skill. If you've got it, if you're here, if everything is here, you're good, you know, so. Guys. Don't even think about my colleagues. They have the accent that you think they're from. That's what they're all about. Okay? So, no, no, no. Nobody gives a fuck about fake accents. I'm an advocate of no accent when it comes to this accent. This one, if you don't like it, that means you're not Nigerian. This is our yarn. Live with it.